Hey there, my name is Christoph with Click. Today I would like to show you a trick how you can load recursively JSON child structures. The April release has this wonderful org chart and I thought it's the right time to try to import using our REST connector a structure like this. And I've, I'm sure you've seen this around. Here is actually a, a family tree. Let's have a quick look how this looks in the standard with the REST connector. So if I went to a load script, and if I load this using the JSON converter, you get a tree structure resolved like this. And if you try to import them all, you will get a working data model looks like this. Let me run this. This results in a data model like similar like this. And each child's first name is in a different field. So you can see this. The first one has got first name underscore U2. The second one has first name U1 and so on. So there is no obvious who is uh, really the, the first child, the second child, the hierarchy level as a such is also not visible. So this is something that you probably will not be able to use in your analysis. So going back to my script, let's uh, kick this out. And here is a much better approach. Um, this one needs a couple of parameters from you. Basically, the data table that you want to have in click, it's going to be only one table and not as before, multiple tables. I need to have the JSON field, including double quotes. In my case, it's first name. Um, I need to know the name of the child hierarchy key in JSON, which is children in my case, and the rest is names uh, in field and the path separator. Here is actually the connection string. So I'm going to use the URL. Here you can see more parameters if needed. So let's kick this off and see what it is going to do. It fires a series of uh, select statements, the first one to get just the parent, the second one to get the first hierarchy beyond the parent, so the level two. Then you can see yourself, it's going to load level three, level four, and this goes on and on until no more children are added. So you can see here, no zero new records have been added on the fifth level, and this is when it ends. And guess what the data model looks like now? You've got everything in just one nice table like this. I'm using clicks hierarchy load after this, which even splits the family hierarchy in multiple field names like that. But you can still work it with first name, parent ID, node ID is automatically being created for you. Uh, the hierarchy level is automatically created and the first name path. And what you can automatically do with zero additional effort is you fill this nice chart here. So here is the entire tree of uh, children. And they all collapse, expand as you would expect to. So this is the correct hierarchy. And of course, this works also with much more sophisticated data. In uh, reality, you will probably get something like this, where you have multiple uh, parameters. So let's import this one real quick as a second example here. Going back to the data load editor, you need to provide all the JSON fields in double quoted list of fields here in this variable vJSON fields. This is how you want to name them within click. And you can do some you know, aliasing, for example, if the name field isn't filled, I'm taking the ID in replacement. That's fine, you can do that as well. 
and the name fields in this case are called name and not first name. The rest will be good, just using the other URL. And there we go. So again, I'm computing a series of different commands, starting with the first level, going down the second level, third level, fourth level, and so on, until no more child records are coming. And again, this instantly works. In this case, I'm using some um, more sophisticated JSON data, and you have a very nice tabular structure now. And there is a second table that I haven't mentioned or explained yet. I'm also creating a recursive table that links to the first. The, the purpose of this one really is to, to get all the child nodes selected simultaneously. So if I select this one, which is obviously a parent node with multiple childs underneath, um, it gets you back all the ones on the same and lower level. It would not be the case if I select the name here, then I would get exactly just one node. By the way, the org chart itself has a very nice feature and this little button here allows you to select the entire tree at once. Although you just clicked on this one, it gives you all the tree underneath. So I hope this makes working with hierarchies much easier. If you like this series of videos, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you the next time. Stay safe and bye.